Now, sometimes on Operation Ouch, what we really... What are you doing? I'm holding it in. Why didn't you go before I started? Because I need it for this week's Investigation Ouch. Oh. Now, I know what you're thinking. You should have flushed the toilet, Dr Chris. Well, you're wrong. I didn't use the toilet. But I'm going to wash my hands. I'm actually taking my wee to Bristol. It's here somewhere. Can you get out the map? Because apparently it contains hidden powers. This is the Bristol Robotics Laboratory, and some scientists here have decided that rather than flushing their wee down the toilet, they're going to use it as a power source. And that's why I've brought mine all the way from London. I suppose I could have just gone when I got here. Come on, Wee Wee. We're off to meet Dr. Yanis Europoulos. He's the brains behind Pea Power. So, Yanis, I've got something for you. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, Chris. It's my pleasure. So, the first thing to say about being here is it really smells in here. Yes, it does. <laughs> it's basically a bit like imagine if instead of leaving your classroom to go and pee, everyone just peed on the floor. That's a bit like what it smells like. But you're putting the wee here to slightly better use, aren't you? Yes. So we, we use urine as a fuel for electricity. Yep, you heard right. They're turning we into electricity. So how do you do that? So we will take this urine and we will add it into microbial fuel cells, which are something like batteries, only they have living microorganisms inside, living bugs. The bugs living in the microbial fuel cells, or batteries, feed on the sugars and proteins in urine, breaking it down, and this process creates electricity. In fact, this four litres of wheat could create enough power for 20 minutes of talk time on a mobile phone. But that's not all it can do. Time to see my wee in action. So this is basically a battery, is that right? Yes, a very complicated one. And what do you use it to power? Uh, at the moment, we use it to power a remotely controlled car. A remote controlled car? Yeah. That's quite cool. I love remote controlled cars. To get the car moving, we first need to top up the battery. So each one of these things that I'm putting the urine into is a microbial fuel cell. And there are bacteria in there that are going to eat the sugars and proteins in the urine and turn them into electricity which is then going to charge this car. That <laughs> really works well. At the moment, it takes a very large battery to power a very little car, but hopefully it won't be long before the batteries get smaller and the things they can power get bigger. Yeah, so that, that is amazing. But what's the future? The future is about developing the technology so it can be implemented into developing world countries and provide electricity. It's basically one wonderful way of turning waste into something useful. So, hopefully one day urine will create power for people in developing countries to light their homes and cook their food with. Obviously, this doesn't mean that you can go and pour urine into all the electronic kit in your house and expect it to work. That would be both incredibly dangerous and very, very smelly. But what we have seen is that scientists have invented a way of producing power from urine. Now, if they can only invent a way of getting rid of the smell, 